Kirsten Preeby and I'm from Webster, Minnesota. I work in the horse industry. I'm a hunter jumper trainer at Cornerstone on the Vermilion. I've been doing this for four years now. When I was about two years old, I got lost in the State Fair horse barn when my parents took me to the State Fair. Ever since I've been interested, my aunts had horses, so I grew up riding their horses. I tagged up with Kathy Ott, who is also in this series, and we've been doing horses together, and she was kind of my mentor. I do think women are more drawn to horses at a younger age and that's probably why in my discipline at least it's dominated by mostly women. But there are quite a few of very passionate men I've met on the show circuit as well. All the little girls want to ride a pony. Not so much all the little boys want to ride a pony. I think I chose this sport because when I started riding, my mother told me, absolutely not, you will never go over a jump with your horse, and so I just started jumping broomsticks, and then it turned into, wow, I really love jumping horses over painted poles. I would say I'm a driven person. I set goals, and I try really hard to reach them. I get told a lot that I'm too hard on myself or I want things to happen too quickly, but it works out pretty well for me usually. <laughs> My biggest supporter is Dr. Kathy Ott. She helped me get into training horses. We did a lot of them together. Um, she kind of showed me the ropes that way and encouraged me to become a professional. Day three, so sore. It's all swollen right back behind the withers there. So we're going to give him a day off and put some surpass on it and gets the day off. Kathy to me, well first started out as somebody I really looked up to, a role model when I was a lot younger, and then turned into a friend slash parental figure, and, and then I suppose we sort of stay that way, maybe more towards the friend now than parental figure, but <laughs> Kathy's definitely my fake mother. I'm introduced as her fake kid pretty often. Besides winning, my favorite part of competing would be Nailed it and go. Hey. <laughs> just the time spent with my friends and my clients and Kathy. It's kind of a tight-knit group we have in the Twin Cities area of hunter-jumper riders. I think horses help everybody grow up as a person. I can really see it in my young students. It teaches you responsibility. You have to take care of another life, and that's huge. They're available in the office. It tells you how many horses are in each class. Okay. I'm training several different age groups. My youngest is four. They just changed it up on us. And my oldest would shoot me if I said her age, but over 60. Yeah. What did Gary say? My favorite age to teach is 10 to 14 year olds, because the ones that really love the horses will do anything you ask and they try really hard. Next time on Shoes of Steel. Five-year-old is wild.